Hi everyone and welcome to Cognautics, your one-stop shop for computer science and IT. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell to be the first to catch new content to help you revise. Today I'll cover the actions that occur at each stage of the fetch decode execute cycle. Let's recap on the key components within the CPU. We start with the control unit. It's in charge, it's the managing director and it controls the flow of data. Its function is to execute program instructions using the fetch decode execute cycle. Housed inside the control unit is a memory register, a block of memory with super fast read write speeds, yet a low capacity. It's called the program counter and it stores the address of the next instruction to be run in the fetch decode execute cycle. The arithmetic logical unit is a super powerful calculator and it performs arithmetic, logical operations and binary shifts. Like the CU, the ALU houses a memory register called the accumulator and it's designed to hold the results or intermediate results of calculations. There are two other registers that you need to be familiar with. Firstly, the memory address register holds the address of the instruction being used during the fetch phase or the address from which data can be retrieved during the execute phase. The final register is the memory data register. Now this holds the actual data or instruction from the address held in the memory address register. The memory address register may also hold data or instructions that have been fetched from memory or are waiting to be written to memory. You do need to learn the purpose of each register and it's much easier to do so once you understand how this whole system works. Let's now look at the fetch decode execute cycle in outline. We know that the CPU relentlessly processes instructions and crunches data. The fetch decode execute cycle is the method the CPU uses to achieve this goal. It all begins in the fetch phase in which the control unit checks the program counter to identify whereabouts in memory the next instruction is stored. The control unit moves this address location into the memory address register. The CU then fetches the instruction that's stored in that location and places its value into the memory data register. Finally, the control unit places the address of the next instruction into the program counter so the CPU is ready for the next cycle. The good news is that the fetch phase is the busiest one by far. Right, let's move on to the decode phase next. The control unit decodes the instruction which has been moved into the memory data register. A number of different events may occur at this point, depending upon the contents of the instruction. So for example, the control unit may load values into the memory address register or the memory data register in readiness for the execute cycle. The execute phase is the last part of this cycle and it's during this phase that the instruction is performed. There are a number of different possibilities. Data may be loaded or data may be written. A calculation or a logical operation may be carried out using the arithmetic logical unit. The address on the program counter may need to be changed or the program may be halted. I'll leave you with this summary of the key events in the fetch decode execute cycle. You may find this useful as part of your revision plan. You may also want to test yourself by making sure that you understand these definitions of the different registers. These full statements are taken from recent past papers and they show you the level of detail required in terms of memory registers. So the first definition is about the register that stores the data that's fetched from memory. Now that's quite straightforward and the giveaway is the data part. There's only one register that has the word data in its title so that has to be the memory data register. We also know there are two registers that hold addresses. One's the program counter that points to the address of the next instruction to be run and the other is the memory address register and that's used during the fetch cycle itself. So the second answer is the memory address register and the third one is the program counter or the PC. What about the last statement? This of course refers to the accumulator, which is yet another memory register. 
This one holds the result or intermediate results of calculations performed by the arithmetic logic unit. This is one of the more challenging aspects of this subject, but if you go through it one step at a time and actually take the time to understand that a CPU is designed simply to manipulate instructions and data, the fetch execute cycle itself is simply the manner in which this goal is achieved. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell to be the first to catch new content. Bye bye. Thank you.